Hello 2% of my ladies, welcome back to my channel. So it is a long time ago that I have made a feminine list, but you ladies, you have asked for it. So here I am, I'm gonna do it for you. I have here the 12 sexiest female fragrances that you need to try. The bisexual sister will tell you how the men think. It's fucked up. But um, <laughs> at least I can tell you what we really think is sexy. Ladies, get yourselves as comfortable as possible. Grab yourselves a cup of coffee and pour your balls in a good position. And let's get into it. All right, and at number 12, we got Marc Jacobs Decadence. Yes, and it is only at number 12 because it is hard to get. I think it is discontinued. That's why I've put it at number 12. But, oh my God, this stuff is so sexy if a woman wears it. It's woody, fruity, earthy, and powdery. And this fragrance is truly unique in the designer world because it has a lot of masculine fragrance notes in here. But they have managed it to make it smell in a feminine way. And the main notes that you smell are plum, iris, orris, jasmine samba, and vetiver. This is a strong, confident woman's kind of a scent. The woman who wears this can be in charge, but in the most feminine way possible. This is very dark, mysterious and complex and trust me men like women like that then they want to figure you all out longevity with this one is a good eight hours with a strong projection try to get this one and at number 11 is a very sexy one but it is only at number 11 because not many women can pull this one off it is montal's Ooh, amazing listen fruity powdery iris and oody oh man this is for the dangerous women out there dressed in black. This is more of a dominatrix, to be honest with you. Mm -hmm. They get punished. Oh, yeah. Punish me. Ooh. I have been very bad as well. If I need to explain this fragrance in the best possible way, it is La Vie et Belle with Oud and made more darker. So if you like La Vie et Belle, but then this one is 10 times stronger, darker, more interesting, and more sexier. And you smell unique while you're wearing this one. Now, longevity with this one is an easy 16 plus hours and it projects massive. Try this one out. And at 10, we got Narcisa Rodriguez, what is it? Musk Noir Rose, that's it. <laughs> Listen, I have a weak spot for clean, musky, feminine fragrances. Really? This is clean, feminine musk with a hint of fruitiness and rose. This smells like a woman that took a fresh shower and is ready to go to her work. Clean, sexy, fresh, daytime fragrance. Fresh out of the shower. Now this fragrance is a little bit closer to the skin, but it lasts a good eight hours. But if you spray a lot with this fragrance, like all over your body and like 20 plus times, then this one is going to project. But this is actually, I would want to smell this in intimate settings and then you don't really want to project. Then I would like to discover. Try this one out. And at number nine, we got Montal Intense Roses Musk. I can tell you you that Montal makes the sexiest fragrances for women out there. Women. I think you say women instead of woman. Who gives a shit? English is not my first language, so deal with it. Fresh, sharp rose with the clean white musk. That is what this is. And if you like the fragrance Intense Cafe, if you like that one, you're gonna like this one as well. Think of Intense Cafe, you can wear that one in fall and winter, and this one you can wear in spring and summer. Like a fresher Intense Cafe this is. And the main notes that you smell are rose, musk, amber, and jasmine. And the reason why I love this stuff as well, because it is potent. You're gonna fill rooms with this one. Everybody is going to smell you with this. And it's a man's magnet. Men really love scents like these. Longevity is easy, 12 plus hours. Projection is massive. And this one is a big compliment getter. Girls, get this one for daytime and work and summer and spring. Try this one out. And at number eight, we got Kayali Yum Pistachio Gelato. Yes, this is fresh and airy and sweet at the same time. Weird combination, but it works. It is powdery and the pistachio note really pushes out. And pistachio is really sexy. I like it. And the main notes that you smell are pistachio gelato, hazelnut, sweet rum, whipped cream, marshmallow, and cotton candy. 
Now the inspiration is pistachio gelato. You do get hints of that, but I must say it is not that gourmandy-ish, which I think is a good thing. This still smells like a fragrance. I like that. I don't like it to be too edible. This is still very alluring and captivating, and this turns heads when you wear it. Guys really like this kind of a scent. This is a big, big compliment getter. Very delicious and addictive. Try this one out. And at number seven, we got Dior Homme Intense. Oh my God. Don't shy away from masculine fragrances. This is really unisex. It is very sexy on a man, but it's even sexier on women. Plus, plus, because all your girlfriends that you hang out with don't go for men's fragrances, you can be unique and lie when they ask you what fragrance you wear. Say La Vie Belle. Oh, but La Vie Belle doesn't smell like that on me. No, bitch, because it's not La Vie Belle. It's Dior Homme Intense. Lie. Don't give them your secret. You want to be the sexiest smelling girls out of your whole girl group, not them. It is woody and powdery. It has the right balance of fragrance. Oh, the main notes that you're gonna smell with this fragrance is lavender, iris, ambrette, pear, cedar, and vetiver. I always think of a well-dressed, beautiful woman with, she has a little bit of makeup on, lipstick, just like the women that you look up to. You know, you're like, oh my God, I wanna be like that. But this on a woman is super sexy. It is not normal. Now, longevity with this one is around six to eight hours. It's soft, it doesn't really project off of you. But if you use ISO E Super over this fragrance, so molecule number one, then this one is going to project heavy. So use that combined with that, then you are going to get like 12 hours plus a good projection. Try that combination out. And at number six, my most complimented fragrance. When I was a personal trainer, so many men have complimented me on this one. It's Mancera Holidays, yes. This smells a little bit like a niche version of Paco Robin Olympia. Now, not that they smell the same, but they go into the same kind of a direction. It is sweet with the salty sea note added to it. And you get like a suntan lotion kind of a vibe. So, sweet fruity, suntan lotion, sea salt note. Mix that all together, that's this. It's amazing, it's really good and sexy. This stuff really puts you in a holiday kind of a mood. Holiday, celebrate. And the main notes that you're gonna smell with this fragrance is coconut, bergamot, ylang ylang, sea notes, vanilla, sandalwood and white musk. You can wear this stuff all year round. You can wear it in a high heat. You can, it's still strong enough that you can wear it in the winter. It doesn't matter. And longevity is amazing as well. Easy 12 plus hours with a massive projection if you spray enough. Try this one out. And at number five, we got Tom Ford's Noir Extreme. Yes, again, a masculine kind of a fragrance, but it's, it's not. To me, this is totally unisex, but leans masculine. But this on a woman. Oh, this is the rock star kind of a woman. She is sexy, she's dominant, she's a little bit evil, and you, you know that she is trouble. You just know. I'm the devil. This is the sex bomb for ladies. If you're a woman and you can pull this one off, I would also say try Tom Ford Noir Extreme Parfum. I like this one a little bit better, but this one is even darker and even more masculine. So this is really not for every girl out there. I would say most girls can pull this one off more than this one. This fragrance is sweet, spicy, woody, and powdery. And the main notes that you're gonna smell with this fragrance is cardamom, nutmeg, kulfi, vanilla, amber, woody notes, and sandalwood. Now, longevity on a man and a woman is different. On a man, the longevity is not so long with this one, but on a woman, it's easily eight hours with a good projection. Try this one out. And at number four, now you would probably not expect this from me, but I find this extremely sexy on a woman. Extremely. It is a um, Viva La Juicy Gold Couture, yes. Playful, flirty, and feminine. It is sweet caramel vanilla with a fresh fruity edge added to it. The only problem with this thing is longevity and projection is shit. It's really shit, it sucks. Best thing that you can do is really overspray this fragrance and carry a decant. And every two hours, you're gonna spray five sprays on you again. 
that's when you get a good performance with this one because the performance is not good i think longevity is around four to five hours and it already stays very close to your skin but still it really is one of the sexiest female fragrances out there so try this one out and at number three we got montal intense cafe this thing is not normal with how sexy this is this is literally a man either because you can seduce every man with this stuff every man is head over heels for this stuff head over heels can you say that for a man i don't know a lot of people have written in the comments like intense cafe doesn't last that long anymore they've reformulated it no or they have a fake bottle that could happen or it really is that i haven't smelled the newer batches of intense cafe but Get this one, Arabian Oud Rosewood. It's pretty much the same, only this one is a little bit darker. But longevity with this one is easy 16 plus hours, but I also have that with this one, but this is the old batch. So just for a heads up. And the main notes that you're gonna get with this fragrance is rose, coffee, vanilla, white musk, and amber. This is a party kind of a fragrance. Wear this fragrance while you're going out because it's strong, it's fun, it's sweet. Men are going crazy for this stuff. You are going to get a lot of attention. You are going to get compliments from left and right. It's not normal. And guess what? You are unique because not many girls out there know about Montal. But again, what I have told you, Montal makes one of the best fragrances for females out there, like the sexiest fragrances out there trust me go out with your girls your girls are going to wear a designer fragrance and the only one that they are going to smell like men and women and your girls club is this you will overpower them that is how strong this one is but still don't sissy spray with it go at least 16 sprays because you want to overpower you want people to only smell you at least that's what i want <laughs> try this fragrance out and at number two we got my signature scent oud satin mood yes look at look at the juice ladies look at this this stuff is potent and sexy as fuck it is a big compliment getter it's aggressive it has that baby baby is effect to it because of the sexy musk that is in here like it's crazy but it is sweet and cute and dark and sexy and dominant at the same time that's what this is very feminine but very strong, powerful, feminine. If you wear this, you know what you're doing. This stuff has given me so many compliments and not the normal kind of a compliments, but really like, oh, what, what is that what you're wearing? I'm like, yeah, it's a, uh, it's oud said and mood. But then if I say that most men don't know what it is. What, what is it, what? It's different, bitch, I'm different. If I, if I would say like, this is a boxer dropper kind of a fragrance, then that's this. And not that we women need to work to drop the boxers because men always want. <laughs> so it's not that hard, you don't even need a fragrance. But men love this stuff. They really do. Now, longevity of this one is easy 16 plus hours. Like it's not normal. I, no, I think even 24 hours. And projection is massive. Everybody is going to smell you with this. So definitely try this one out. And then at number one, the sexiest fragrance out there. Like this is not normal. This is my most complimented fragrance. Every time I wear this, I get compliments from left and right and everybody wants to know what I'm wearing. It is Odeon Dubai Scorpion Intense. Look how much I've worn this thing. Look, there's not much left. Listen, rose and oud on a woman is so powerful, is so sexy. But not every woman can pull this one off. This is for the strong women out there. Strong, confident women who don't care what people think of them. Those kind of women only can pull this one off. Now this is very oudy, but a clean, airy kind of oud. This is not skanky at all. Also, a lot of people compare this one to Louis Vuitton Ombre Nomad. Yes, they do smell alike for 80%, but I would say that this one smells way better because Ombre Nomad has a skank to it. Really like a poopy, skanky uh, kind of oud that, that I can handle. I can handle, no problem at all. But this one doesn't have that. This is the clean, airy, sharp kind of a oud. And a very nice rose. Also some fruitiness in there. It's also smoky and spicy. Oh, sex. This is what this is. That's this. Oh my God. 
And the main notes that you're going to smell is agarwood, rose, wild berries, woodsy notes, amber wood, saffron, and olibanum. Now, oud and rose is already very powerful when it's in a fragrance. They put amber wood in it. Oh my God, this thing projects like a mofo. This one is one of the longest lasting fragrances in my collection. Like this is not normal. Longevity also easy, 24 hours, projects like a beast, fills whole rooms. This is my most complimented fragrance. Like it is not normal how many compliments I've got with this one. And basically men and women really like this fragrance. It isn't really gender that only men complimented me on this one. No, women as well. Women are like, oh my God, you smell so nice. What is that? And then most of the time I lied. Yeah, I am that person. I Listen, if I have a very sexy fragrance, I am not going to tell what I wear. No, I lie. I mean, I know. I want, to, I want to be the best smelling woman out there. Not you. I'm not going to give you my secrets. Now I am doing that because you are the 2% of my ladies. But all the other ones, no. Go figure it out yourself. Wear La Vie et Belle. <laughs> Wear Chanel, Coco Mademoiselle. And then I come. Boom. Odeon Dubai. Scorpion Intense. Yes. But honey, if you want to smell sexy, dominant, everybody is only going to smell you because you smell so powerful, then definitely try this one out. All right, ladies, this was the fragrance video of today. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments down below what fragrance video you want me to make for you next. And also let me know what is your sexiest fragrance that you have in your collection, if you could only pick one, because I want to know what your sexiest fragrance is. All right, ladies, be the best smelling girl in the room. Keep everything a secret. Don't tell the other girls what you're wearing because you need to smell the best. Bye-bye.